Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about how to identify whether a substring is present in a string or not. So consider we have one string, the name of the variable is string and the content for the string is code, then space, then crush. So code crush is the content for the string variable. Now we have another variable called substring and the substring value or the content of substring is O. So we need to check whether this substring is available inside this string. So you can check here right here o is available and also in the string o is available at index position 1 we know that index position for this string starts from the 0 so c is located at 0 position o is located 1 d is located at second position e is at 3 and so on so this substring is present here if i replace this o with e space so it is also present right because we have here e after that we have space so that particular substring is also present so this is the code we need to write to check whether a particular substring is present in the string or not so we will accept this both the values from the user and then apply our logic so let me remove this part here now we will accept from the user so we know how to accept the values from the user let's have variable name called string and here we will say input enter string once we get the string then we will ask the user for substring so let's have a variable for it substring input enter substring to check in string so we are going to check whether that substring is present in string or not so once we get these two values how to check whether that particular substring is present in string or not so we know about the membership operator in and not in so we are going to use in operator here because in operator is used to check whether a particular content is available in a sequence or not so here the sequence is string let me write the code then you will understand so here i will apply the condition using the if condition block if this substring so I will have this variable here if substring in string it means this value of substring is available in string it will by default with the help of this in operator we are internally able to check whether that particular substring is available inside this string or not so once we have this condition then we will print the message print yes substring is present so we are going to print this message here and if the substring is not available inside this string then this condition will be false so we need to write else part here so else give proper intention here we have the content of if statement after that else block and then the content of else block if this condition is false then we will print substring is absent or substring is absent let's save this code and try to run now so run substring dot py python file so enter string let me enter here code crush now enter substring to check uh, i will enter here let's say r u s we enter r u s so it is present right so we are getting a message yes substring is present let me run the code again so enter string this time we will enter hello now i'm going to check whether l e is present in the string or not l e so we are getting a message substring is absent means separate if we consider the characters like l l is present e e is present but this entire sequence l e is not present in hello because we have el present but not le so it will always check in the sequence so that's why we are getting your message substring is absent let me show you another case here enter string let's say hello now let's say in this substring i search for el now el is present here right we have the el substring inside the string 
uh, we are trying to search that then the output should be yes substring is present let me run this code enter but still we are getting substring is absent why we are getting substring is absent because here the in operator will also check the cases like uh, whether the provided substring is in upper case or lower case means here we have the lower case in this string but here inside the substring we are checking for the upper case so we don't have any upper case sequence like e earlier so consider a situation where in the program you don't want to uh, differentiate between them according to uh, lower case or upper cases means it will be available if it is available in any of the sequence like in this case it should gives us the output substring is present because el is present in the substring and el is present in the string but only difference was of the cases so let's ignore the cases so how we can do that whatever output or input we are getting from the user we will convert it into one of the cases and then we will check let's say once we get the substring whatever the user has entered i will convert it into the lower case so here we have a built-in method i have already made the videos for the string methods i will provide the link in description so what this function will do whatever the user has entered in any of the cases it will convert it all to lower cases and in similar ways we will also convert the string into lower case so now both will be in the lower cases and for any of the input we will always get the substring present when that particular sequence is available in any of the cases let's run the code now so let's say my string is h e l l o now here h is capital and l is capital means in upper cases other characters are in lower cases now enter substring now here you can see e is in lower case now in substring i will search in upper case and l is in upper case now here i will search it in lower case now what will happen once the program control is here it will convert both to lower cases means this will be also converted hello into lower case and el will also be converted into lower case and then the in operator will check now in that case all will be in lower case and as el is present here el is present here so we will get the message yes substring is present see we are getting here yes substring is present so in this way you can check whether a particular character or a sequence of characters are available inside the strings or not with the help of this in operator so in this code we have understood this part and also made use of this lower method which is inbuilt method for the strings it will convert the characters of the strings into lower case so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching